Hey, it's Mike with Carlisle Events, joined by Carlisle Events co-owner Lance Miller and Corvettes at Carlisle Lance coming August 24th through the 26th. It was your dad's favorite car show, and I think it's one you like a lot too, right? Oh, I love Corvettes at Carlisle. It's so much fun. It's all about the people, Mike. You it's all about the people, the cars, the excitement, and we're looking at some 5,000 Corvettes through the gate. And there's so much that you can see and do. Of course, you can see the cars, but you can shop for the car parts in the automotive flea market and on the manufacturer's midway. We have the car corral, and then we have all kinds of competitions and contests, too. Absolutely, we do. I always say, like, if you walk around, you could actually build a Corvette with all the parts to the vendors. It's unbelievable. And we have one family that we know of, a, a friend of Carlisle, if you will, that has, has sourced many a part in the automotive flea market to help build some of those cars. Uh, one of the biggest parts of Corvettes at Carlisle is the Chip Miller Amyloidosis Foundation, the, the dinner that the foundation hosts on Friday the 25th this year, and then also some of the raffles and whatnot that go with that. Talk a little bit about the foundation. Why, sure. Uh, my dad passed away in 2004 from a little-known disease called amyloidosis. So what we do, rather than uh, you know mourn on his passing, we decide why not celebrate and have fun and spread the word about how terrible this disease is. And what it is is abnormal protein building up on your organs. So that protein doesn't go away. It continues to stay there and build up and build up. And unfortunately, bad things can result. So on that note, we decided to uh, you know enjoy and celebrate his life spread the word, have a dinner, and raise some money for a great cause. In addition to having the dinner, there's a big tent and footprint set up. The Lancaster County Corvette Club is there. They're selling raffle tickets for a C8 2LT Corvette. Wow, you're good. That will be awarded on Saturday the 26th in conjunction with the Pennsylvania Lottery's Pick 3 7 o'clock drawing. You have another fancy schmancy Corvette that you're going to showcase but not give away yet. It is a C8. It's the Z06 with the Z07 performance package. That one's a little different. Talk about that one. Sure, that car, you can purchase tickets online, which is really nice. It's a sweepstakes. So you can go on CorvetteContest.com and you can enter CMAF and you can get 30% more tickets. Always a savings and your dollars go to a great cause. So at the show, of course, you get the uh, the competitions. We talked about uh, a little bit earlier, but you have club contests, including the uh, Hemmings Largest Club Contest, Coolest Club Contest. You have Lingenfelter Performances, King of the X, the Autocross Contest, the Errol Lorry Wheels, People's Choice Best in Show Contest. That's always fun when you bring the people in the cars together, isn't it? It is. It's a lot of fun. We just have so many things going on in a short period of time. It's just I always encourage any Corvette owner, come out and enjoy yourself. Time flies at Corvettes at Carlisle. The downtown Carlisle Corvette Parade and Street Party, also a great way to wrap things up on Saturday night. We see some 500 cars leave the fairgrounds and head into downtown Carlisle. By the way, all new parade route this year for the Corvette Parade. Cars are going to roll from the Carlisle Expo Center on Pitt Street. We did this for one of our shows earlier this year. You were part of it. What was that new route like for you? Uh, it was simple. It's, you know, it's not going to be anything crazy. There's no drastic changes, so don't be scared out there. But uh, I think it's the exact same thing. You end in the center downtown Carlisle and you end up having a great time with bands and lots of great people. Now, the people that come through the gate, you are our special guests. But we also have some celebrities that make Corvettes and Carlisle part of the plan. Team Chevrolet is coming back in 2023, so they will be part of the autograph fund. We also welcome back for the first time since 2019, Mr. Will Cooksey. What's it mean to you to have Will oh, back at the show? I love Will. He's such a good guy. He's just, uh, you know, he's one of those gentlemen that you talk to and you just fall in love with him. Just great, great person, and he's excited to come back. Paul Kerner's going to be here. Paul's going to be hosting some seminars with his Corvette mechanic team. Kevin McKay is going to be here. You have a long-standing relationship with Kevin McKay. Always fun to welcome Kevin. Steve Garrett, who's president of the Corvette Club of Kansas City and a, a podcast host, he's going to be here. So a nice panel of special guests that folks can, can mix and mingle with, get autographs from. Anybody else I'm missing? I think you covered them all. But you're, there's, you're there. there's plenty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exciting, right? Yeah. But uh, it's great. I mean, anybody that's anybody within the Corvette hobby typically comes out. I know Mike Yeager, for instance, from uh, Mid America just contacted me. He'll be coming out. So there's tons of people that will be here. Special displays this year at Corvettes at Carlisle. Chip's Choice is your annual special feature in Building T. And this year, 
It's 100 years of Le Mans and specifically the Corvettes that have been part of that long and storied race. Uh, I mentioned Kevin McKay. He's played a role in the restoration of a couple of the cars that are going to be on display, including, I believe, we're going to officially see for the first time the number one Cunningham Corvette. We, we tried to show it to you a couple of years ago and it didn't work, didn't work out. very well. No, not so well. Uh, but now it looks all shiny and new, and uh, we're going to show it off in Building T along with the number three Cunningham car. Uh, a couple of other great cars in the display. There's an L88, but uh, there's a trio coming that have special significance. Can you comment on those? Uh, the Cowway cars that will be here, you just have to see it to believe it. It'll be the first time they've ever been seen together. Um, truly something that you're not going to see again. So we're fortunate to have them. The entire display is going to be phenomenal. I'm really excited. And what makes those Callaway cars extra special, of course, uh, the, the passing of Reeves Callaway a couple of weeks ago. And, and he, according to you, he was really looking forward to seeing these three cars together. And now we still bring them together, but we do so as a tribute and a remembrance to Reeves. Absolutely. He was a dear friend. Additional special displays. The NCRS gallery is going to be happening. They always have a great array of cars. The NCCC doing their, their judged area. We have 15 years of that Cooksey Z06 with Will being back. That's going to be a perfect showcase. 50 years of 1973s. And the American flag is back. One of your favorites. Hey, I dreamed it and then we built it. So that's pretty exciting. It's always cool to see that come together. Carlisle is a bit of a field of dreams, that's for sure. <laughs> and it's not just fun for the adults. The kids have a good time at Corvettes at Carlisle as well. Kids 12 and under get in free. We do fun things like kids bingo. There's a, a cash grab. You love giving away some of that cash oh, to the yeah, youngins, right? Yeah, nothing better. And and they, they love RC cars too. RC cars and I mean, they can they can help pick an award for one of the one of the display cars as well. I mean, these kids really are the future of the hobby. You were a, a kid here one time at Carlisle, and and your daughter Ella was as well. Not so much a little kid anymore. Yeah, fourteen. You know. But uh, time flies. But bring your kids out because I promise they're going to have a good time. And you get a, a goodie bag when you get to guest services. You bring that kid by, you get that free goodie bag. It's got the activity booklet. There's an RC car in there as well. Uh, rolling exhaust contest also a big part of the deal. Um, you can get an education at Corvettes at Carlisle, right, Lance? It's not just about walking around, looking at the cars on the fun field. It's Absolutely. about going to some of these special seminars. Paul Kerner's been here for a long time, but oh. you ever have a chance to sit in on one of his seminars? He's unbelievable. He really is. He, I, are you kidding? Have I ever sat in? Absolutely. <laughs> he's worked on my cars in the seminar, so yes, he's awesome. Rick Malone's going to be here from Spring Mountain Motor Resort. Oh, that's like my favorite. Yeah, we got to do that sometime. Field trip, the Corvette Caravan, which comes around every couple of years, is back in 2024. So Jeff Duda is going to be hosting a seminar as well on that Corvette Caravan 2024 and what you can expect. You've been part of the caravan. What's that all about? It's a lot of fun. What it is is people from all sorts of the country, they come together and meet at Bowling Green, Kentucky, NCM. So it's, it's a lot of fun. And you get a bunch of different groups that, that come together, they meet up at Corvettes at Carlisle, then they roll out from the fairgrounds to head southwest yeah. in that case, and uh, always a good time. I mean, that's Corvettes at Carlisle in a nutshell, right? Like you, that's you it in a go nutshell. To the, go to the website, carlisleevents.com. You can download our app in advance, the event I guide. always encourage that because yeah. I use it all the time, every you, show. It's, it's very helpful. It, it gets you a lot of information before you even get to the show. I mean, you check out the advance arrival info. You know about where you can park because on grounds, of course, is Corvette only parking. So if you're not driving a Corvette, we encourage you to park in one of the Carlisle lots right around the facility, $10 to park for Corvettes at Carlisle if you're off grounds or if you're an on grounds uh, Corvette parker. Gates open at 7 a.m. each day. Of course, our events happen rain or shine, but we're looking for sunshiny days at Carlisle. That, that's what you want, right? Yes. It's what's best for business. We also welcome you to visit with our friends for the Carlisle Area Lions Club. They've been back this year, and they're soliciting donations for their Lions International Disaster Relief effort. If you want to save a couple of bucks, maybe you're not showing a Corvette, but you still want to come out, get those spectator tickets online at a discount. That's a great perk that you offer our customers. Without a doubt. No brainer. And if you're a military ID holder, also discounts available. Just show that ID at the venue. Maybe you have a Corvette. Maybe you want to show it. You can register online to just a couple of days before the show starts and then otherwise stop into the registration building starting on Wednesday morning, the 23rd at 7 a.m. And they'll process you through 
in person, get you on grounds, get you parked. It is fun field parking. So explain what that means, by the way, for anybody that uh, maybe has never been here before. It's bring whatever you've got. If you are if you have a project Corvette, we welcome you to come out. If you got a Corvette that you just had in the family for a long time, bring it out. Doesn't matter what it is. If you got, you know, the perfect Corvette, throw it in the NCCC, how you, see how you do it, judging. You know, there's other opportunities out there, so we always encourage everybody to come on out, bring your car, have fun. Every generation of Corvette will be showcased from year one in 1953 through the, the most modern C8 that there is. It's always a great time at Corvettes at Carlisle. CarlisleEvents.com. Learn more about Corvettes at Carlisle. It's August 24th through the 26th. Gates open at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. And the show wraps on Saturday with that downtown Carlisle Corvette Parade and Street Party Lance. I can't wait to get back at it with all the Corvette fans and friends of Carlisle that will be back in town.